GOP leaders tried to turn the tables on the impeachment inquiry targeting Burbank Representative Adam Schiff. KKL 9's Chris Holmstrom is here now in studio with details mm -hmm. for us. Chris? Juan and Sharon, the fight is on, and President Trump remains defiant in the face of an impeachment probe, and he's urging fellow Republicans to step it up. Censure House Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff. It's the latest push from House Republicans in the impeachment probe saga. Republicans say he's guilty of, quote, misleading conduct, unquote, for dramatizing a phone call between President Trump and the Ukraine president. The essence of what the president communicates, we've been very good to your country, very good. No other country has done as much as we have. But you know what? I don't see much reciprocity here. I hear what you want. I have a favor I want from you. The resolution claims Schiff made a mockery of the impeachment process. The president expressed his support for the resolution. All they have is a whistleblower who's disappeared. Where is he? He's gone. Was there actually an informant? Maybe the informant was Schiff. It could be Shifty Schiff. In my opinion, it's possibly Schiff. House Democrats quickly blocked the Republican resolution. The yeas are 218 and the nays are 185. The vote fell along party lines, with independent representative Justin Amash, a former Republican, siding with the Democrats. A lot of the Republican members haven't been here long enough, or they've spent so much time um, with their partisan nonsense over the years that it's really hard for them to win the trust of voters if they're going to break from the president. After the vote, Representative Schiff tweeted, it will be said of House Republicans when they found they lacked the courage to confront the most dangerous and unethical president in American history, they consoled themselves by attacking those who did. As for the impeachment probe, it continues. On Tuesday, top U.S. diplomat to Ukraine, Bill Taylor, will testify. Text messages released last month show he raised several red flags about the halt in military aid. In one message, he wrote, I think it's crazy to withhold security assistance for help with the political campaign. Gordon Sondland, the Trump-appointed U.S. ambassador to the EU, then disagreed, saying, I believe you are incorrect about President Trump's intentions. No quid pro quos of any kind. Also making headlines, acting White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney, who announced the Doral decision last week. And in doing so, he created controversy for himself. Get over it. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. Mulvaney appeared to acknowledge President Trump withheld military aid for Ukraine in exchange for an investigation of the Bidens. The White House insists he still has the president's confidence. As for President Trump, he's urging Republicans to get tougher and fight, saying the impeachment probe is a Democratic hit job designed to block his reelection. They're vicious and they stick together. They don't have Mitt Romney in their midst. And according to sources, White House counsel is vying aggressively for Mulvaney's job, but both men, they're entangled in the Ukraine controversy. As for tomorrow, Bill Taylor will testify behind closed doors. It's part of the probe to determine if President Trump committed impeachable offenses. Sharon, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you.